And another brownie troop. 304. And a Cub Scout den. 853. Ooh, that sounds like a pack. There's another brownie troop. Yeah. You're kidding. Where? What number? Oh. 1355. And a little Daisy Scout. And a whole bunch of moms and dads. Hi, Hi. 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 It's nice to see you. Hello, George. Hello. How are you? Thanks for bringing the kids down to be with us today. Really appreciate it. How many of you were Wallace Watchers and Ladmo listeners when you were kids? One, two, three, four, five. Thank you. Thank you very much. You had some kids from Brophy. Brophy? Were they the ones wandering around with the camera? We'll find out more about that later. Right now, the first order of business. And today, something different with the Ladmo bag. What? What? We're going to let Gerald have uh, it. What do you think, huh? Dad! <laughs> bad. I mean, we're talking bad. That's bad. Bad. Crummy idea. Yeah, bad. We're supposed to move back into the light. <laughs> I have here a seating chart. You would think after 36 years we'd learn, wouldn't it? There goes Ladmo up that center aisle to his left, the fourth row. One, two, three, four. The second seat over. One, two, stand up. What is your name? Jennifer, there's Jennifer. Oh, please, Jennifer. Oh, hi, Jody. Nice to see you. Glad you tuned in. I found the last case of Tootsie Rolls. Tootsie Rolls. Thank All right. You. Good. And there goes Jody up that center aisle to her right, the fifth row. One, two, three, four, five. Four feet over. Four on the end. What is your name? Danielle. There's Danielle. Hey. We got lots to do, and if we're going to get it all done, we better get rolling with the first cartoon. Hey, y'all, stay tuned. We'll be back quicker than you can say, let's rumble. Soup to nuts and bolts and everything from A to Z. Where else but Smitty's? Back to the show. Well, it's time to check out some pet photos. <laughs> Look at that one. It's great. Aren't these terrific? Yeah, this came in from Jesse Casey and Micah Cazzo and their dog. Whoops. There they are. Oh, and there's little puppies, too. Yeah, yeah. There we are. Oh, Pet photo winner. Yeah, I like those. Now, from the Rice Kids, Dora and Allison, Ethan and Morgan, with a bunnies, chickens, and cats. Here they are. Here's bunnies, the, chickens, and cats? Their pet photo. <laughs> there he is. There's a chicken. All right. It's a nice pet. And finally, Shad Engelke is all dressed up as Cat and Super with his pet cat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's good. I like it. Pet photo winners for today. No. And now let's get going with our next card. Would you get that wall, boy? Sure. I mean, you would think after a while you just run out of children, but they come out of the walls. They come out from under the carpet like a bunch of little roaches. That's what. <laughs> you okay? Uh, oh, guess what? What? Since you're retiring, mm -hmm. I'm going to have my own TV series, and I thought you should be the first to know. I'm the star, and here's the plot. Each episode, I close down a hospital, an orphanage, or a desperately needed government agency. Great format for a sitcom, huh? What do you think? I think it's terrible. I know. But it's the only fun I get out of life. Yeah, well, here's something you, else that you might get a kick out of. What? Ladmo's getting his own TV series, too. Wait a minute, what's the plot? Each week, Ladmo cancels your TV show. What? As each show in the series starts, Ladmo enters and interrupts your opening song. Wait a minute, that's the worst idea for a TV show I've ever heard of. Wait, it gets better. You try to stop Ladmo from canceling your show, but he pushes a button and you drop through a trap door into a tank of sharks. See how you appeal to the more savage elements of their personalities? It's a musical comedy. I'm not going to listen to any more of this. I want you to know I'm leaving, okay? I think the kids will really go for Ladmo's new show. How about it? Please, don't give me one of these votes, and I'll get every single one of you little twerps for this. 
I have your names and I have your addresses. Just because he's retiring, I'm holding everybody. Wallace and Landmo will be right back, but not me. I'm going home. Let me see. Where did we leave off? We're going to meet our winners. That's what we're going to do right now. And what is your name? Jennifer. Hi, Jennifer. You are? Brian. Wait, this is Brian. And then you are? Shad. Okay, there you go. Hey, I like that shirt you got on. Wow, and the suspenders. Great looking shirt there. And what is your name? Megan. Hi, Megan. We have another row of winners way on the top and on the end. You are? Sarah. And? Sarah. Leah. And they've got their Ladmo bags filled with good stuff. What do you think, okay? Huh? Separate it? Okay, excuse me, man. Now, do I have to join Wallace over here? Go ahead and go. Yep. Yep. The funny picture for today is actually a Christmas picture. Oh, isn't that nice? I like Christmas pictures. This came in from Shelly McNally in Fort Mojave. Mm -hmm. And it shows Gerald standing next to a Christmas tree. Mm -hmm. And under the Christmas tree, there seems to be presents for everybody except Gerald. <laughs> Boy, is he upset. All right, our funny picture winner for today, Shelly McNally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fort Mojave, there we go on that. Now, here we go with our Pink Panther. Oh, would you get Whoa. that, Wall Boy? I want to let me check that picture. Yeah, look at that. You know, Wallace, I wanted to talk to you about... Yes? A quaint little television show here. I get a kick out of appearing on it mm -hmm. and visiting with all the little duffers, but... But uh, what? But I think we... I think we just spend too much time talking about me. I don't think it's good to dwell on oneself all the time. So today, let's talk about you, Wallace, all right? All right. Nice change of pace. Ask me anything you want. All right. Here we go. Ready? Yeah, fire away. Wallace, do you like me? And if you do, tell me all the reasons why. I mean, just... I thought we were going to talk about me. Hmm? I thought we were going to talk about me. Go out with it. I can take it. Do you like me? Just say it right out here in public. Well, yeah, but... But what? But what? Look, if you don't like me, just say so. I can take it. It's not that. Well, what is it, then? You don't like the way I dress, the way I have my hairstyle? Look at this, huh? You don't like my friends? What friends? Ha. Ha ha. See? You think I'm unpopular just because I don't have any friends. Well, that would be an indication. You don't like me. I can tell. I could tell it the minute I walked out here the first time. You don't like me. Nobody likes me. I don't even know why. I don't even know why I try. And I really, and I really do try. You know... Everybody needs somebody sometime. People, people who need people. I Wallace and Latmo will return shortly. And if you're real lucky, so will I. Hello again, everybody. We're back. Did you miss us? Um, some very nice letter yeah. uh, concerning my retirement. Thank you. That's nice. Bill Shover from the Republican Gazette. Yeah, Bill. I used to work there. I, I worked at the Gazette in uh, 52, 53. Were you delivering papers or what? Yeah, just about. <laughs> yeah. uh, thank you very much, Diane Asher, mm -hmm. Art and Laura Haney, Patty Heumann, Lou King. Lou King! Paul Hollowell, Dolan Ellis. Whew, Thank you very much for the very nice letter. Okay, we are all set now for our <laughs> commentary. I'll get that, Well, I'll get that. Ah, oh, Marshall, good. Howdy, partner. Howdy, howdy, howdy. I like that Bill Shover, too. I like that Republican Gazette, because it's a lot warmer when you pull it up over you on the bench than the... Oh, in the evening, some, really... some of those other newspapers in yeah. the East Valley, you know? Well, they use good ink. Yeah. They have to cover it up. Hey, I heard you had trouble with your landlady. Oh. You would have to bring that up. She is so petty. She is? Mrs. Archibald. Uh-huh. My landlady gets upset over the most trivial things. Oh, yeah? Like what? Like me not paying my rent. <laughs> well, what did she do to... What did she do to you this time? She unplugged everything. 
Everything? Everything. My radio, my lamp, my hot plate. So why don't you just plug him back in? Hmm? Why don't you just plug him back in? She unplugged everything with an axe, Lando. <laughs> oh, well, what did you do? Well, I ran downstairs to her apartment, mm -hmm. and I poured malto meal in her slippers. Oh, no. Well, what did she do? She ran back up to my room and wiped her feet on my clothes. Oh, big deal. She was wearing track shoes. Oh, what did you do? I ran back down, made her goldfish nervous like this. I put right up oh, next yeah. to the glass. Uh -huh. booga, 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 booga. <laughs> what did she do? She ran upstairs and clogged my sink. Really? With what? My head. Mm. What finally happened? I don't know. Huh? It all became a blur. It, it was so exciting. I just loved that gal. Ah. Last thing I remember before I passed out uh -huh. was being thrown out of my window. And? The window wasn't open. Ooh. But it was so much fun. I, I can... just... I... In the words of General MacArthur, we shall return. Admo bags containing rainbow donuts, Nabisco tidbits, Hires root beer, along with other fine products, provided in exchange for promotional consideration. Hey, tomorrow, Ladmo and Gerald head to the Cobra Valley Plaza. That's right between Globe and Miami for a Christmas extravaganza show. It starts at 1 p.m. Be there. It's a scientific fact. This is the Wallace and Ladmo Show. So, uh, Perky didn't show up so we can get wrong. No! I'm getting out of here. <laughs> Amazing and unusual. That's nice, Perky. Goodbye. I've discovered that in the winter time, I can giggle even higher than in the summertime. <laughs> you can giggle higher in the winter? Yep, louder too. I think it has something to do with contracted air molecules. <laughs> well, thank goodness there's no need to demonstrate. See, in the summertime, I sound like this. <laughs> but now, I sound like this. Perky, the air in the phone booth is really cold. Let's see what you sound like in there. Okay. Oh, this will be great. Come on, 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 come well, Admiral, you have to go all the way back up that center aisle to the top row. To the top row. And when you get there, Lamo, to your right, three heads over. Thank you. What is your name? Kristen's our winner. There she is. Jody! What do you got for her? Good zero bank full, good zero candy. All right, Jody. There she goes up that center aisle to her left, the second row. Second row. Eight, six. Six. Over. Oh, all the way on the end. Can you stand up, please? Okay. There you are. Dad, sir. 